Man, finish line and JD Sports are cracking down. Man. What's good, y'all, man? It is your boy, Sniper Cakes. In today's video, man, we are going to talk about something that Finish Line and JD Sports are doing with exclusive access. And make sure you listen up on this video because a lot of people have been losing their accounts and it has been absolutely crazy. But before we get into the details of this video, you already know, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you smash that like button and of course, smash that notification bell. So Finish Line Exclusive Access is a phenomenal way to cop shoes for retail. What I love about Finish Line and JD Sports is that they actually are innovated and they develop a system where they give exclusive access for the hot shoes like this right here. Bam, the Jordan 3 Reimagined. And this shoe actually was not in store exclusive access, but there was an online exclusive access. So with JD Sports, why it's better than his competition is that yes, the queue is absolutely terrible. And if you don't know what a queue is, it's basically like a waiting line. Yes, that's terrible, but it's almost the fairest way for people to actually cop these sneakers and it prevents bots. There's a lot of different things in the algorithm that determines if you have exclusive access. It's a great tool for people that want to cop shoes for retail. So it is a great, great, great tool. I got that right there. Okay, I'm giving them their flowers. But now what JD Sports and Finish Line are doing, they're trying to crack down on resellers. And people are gonna say, hey, Sniper, you are a reseller. Yes but I wanna give you guys this information so I can help you guys to keep your account because I've been getting multiple messages from people that are not resellers that this rule that they're putting into play is affecting their actual account and it's getting clipped. So first of all guys, make sure you go to your JD Sports and Finish Line account right now to make sure it is good because Finish Line has been going on a rampage clipping people's account that has suspicious act activity so we're going to talk about what suspicious activity means but make sure you are checking your account right now so here's the thing this is what finish line is talking about suspicious activity again finish line goes through its own regulation something that determines suspicious activity might not even be suspicious the number one thing what finish line is looking for if you're buying multiple SKUs, especially at the same time rule of thumb Never buy the same SKU more than once in one transaction or even on the same account. Even if you're someone that just buys pairs for yourself, if you want two pairs for yourself, I would prevent doing that because Finish Line is trying to cut down on resellers. That's what they're trying to do. So if you only have one account, make account for your wife, make a second account for yourself and make sure you organize things so you're not buying multiple of the same SKUs on one account because that's kind of suspicious for Finish Line and JD Sports. Like right here, bam, that is Jordan 3 Reimagine. It's Finish Line sees you bought five of these. It's very suspicious. Nobody's wearing five of these right here. So guys, make sure Make sure you do your due diligence and you're organized so it doesn't raise flags for finish line. Another thing that I've heard that finish line is checking is the sizes that you're actually picking up. So guys, if you're a size 13, just try to start picking up size 13s in the shoes on exclusive access or a and But here's the tricky thing about it is that finish line with exclusive access is a first come, first serve basis based on who gets in the queue first. So if a 13 is unavailable for me, I'm gonna go for a 10. So there's a lot of different things that Finish Line is taking into play, but I would recommend people actually getting the same size on their purchases so it shows like, hey, I'm consistent getting a size 13. Because sometimes Finish Line goes through your account, they check, hey, you did an eight here, you did a seven here, you did a 13 here, you did a nine here, you did a 10 and a half here, that could raise a flag. And again, Finish Line, their regulations, their guidelines, it's up to them. They can literally clip your account without any reasoning. Like I said, I had multiple people and I put some messages up here and this lady was like, they just clipped my account and I literally did nothing. I literally did 
nothing. So guys, just be prepared and make sure you're checking your account. Here's another thing. So when you're buying a Jordan 1 Low, like this shoe right here, again, like I said, just don't buy multiple. Yes, they're not a hot release where retails will allow you to buy one, two, three, four. Just split those up on accounts because again, they're trying to limit resellers. And when they clip your account, they said, hey, you violated the terms and conditions. Now I'm gonna kind of paraphrase this for you. And it's terms and conditions in the status program states, status is intended for personal use only. Right there, wholesalers, resellers are not eligible for status membership. So that is one of the biggest things that Finish Line and JD Sports is doing right now. So I'm just giving you guys a heads up to be very careful because a lot of people watch my channel. People that want personal use, people that are resellers, people that just want two for themselves. I just want to give you guys this heads up on what Finish Line and JD Sports is doing. Not long ago, Flex did the same exact thing. Flex just started on a rampage clipping accounts that has suspicious activity. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, like I said in this video, it's just what Finish Line and JD Sports determine as suspicious activity. You could be doing stuff that's completely normal, but they just say, hey, I don't like what's on your account. I'm going to clip it. I'm going to tell you guys a quick story real quick. So my wife had an account and she literally maybe had like two purchases on her account, but she called Finish Line complaining about something. I believe that you know, her points didn't come onto her account when she purchased something. So Finish Line did an audit on her account and guess what? They clipped it. I'm gonna give you guys a recommendation here is that a lot of times when you complain about Finish Line, about your account and what is going on, a lot of times the Finish Line sees something, anything, they're just going to, hey, clip that account. And also with your rewards, I know $20 rewards, $10 rewards, $5 rewards, Sometimes, I'm telling you this right now, sometimes when you continue to use those rewards, like you buy 20 of them at the same time, like you have a whole bunch of points and you continue to redeem them, sometimes Finish Line will clip your account. That happened to one of my accounts as well. We continue to redeem those $20 rewards. So guys, be very cautious with what you're doing with Finish Line and JD Sports because I do not want your hard work and effort building these accounts. I don't see Finish Line doing this for the duration. They just wanna focus on, okay, let's just get these accounts that are not legitimate in their eyes. Kinda of what Flex did a couple of years back, they just started clipping a whole bunch of accounts. But I feel like it will simmer down and it will go back to normal. But I'm giving you guys a caution right now because I've been getting a lot of messages about this Finish Line JD Sports exclusive access of people getting their accounts clipped. So guys, hey, fair warning, it's happening. Um, if it does happen, you're not gonna get your account back. You can call Finish Line, you can call JD Sports and complain and do all this stuff. They're gonna just say, hey, you did not upheld the terms and condition and we have to end up canceling your accounts. So what to do if your account gets canceled? Number one, make a new account. Go on Finish Line website, make a new status account. For what I've seen, you can use your same name. It shouldn't penalize you for actually doing that. Just make a new account and be more cautious. So guys, I don't recommend calling up there because again, if they audit your account, even if they see something that's a little bit suspicious, they will clip your account. It's Night Gang. We are experts on Finish Line Exclusive Access. We win a lot of pairs on Finish Line Exclusive Access. So I want you guys to be safe. I want you guys to be able to copy your pairs. So I'm making this video, guys. Guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that like button. Of course, smash that notification bell because I'm gonna give you guys fire content that will help you with sneakers and actually help you cop shoes for retail. So guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think about what Finish Line and JD Sports are doing regarding status reward points and status, re and status reward counts because they're starting to crack down on it even if they're kind of making a mistake and clipping people's accounts that aren't resellers. So appreciate you guys, man. Let me know in the comment section below if you did experience this as well with Finish Line and JD Sports clipping your account. If you do have a story, please let me know in the comment section below so we can have some dialogue. But really do appreciate you guys for watching the video. By the way, the FAU and that San Diego State game was insane. Buzzer beater, hit it, crazy. You already know, really do appreciate you guys. We wanna keep this thing going, guys. Be careful, be careful, again. Don't be buying all these SKUs on one account. 
start kind of divvying them even if you're not reselling just be cautious on what you're doing really do appreciate you guys you already know sniper kicks out peace